So we're starting this morning in the centre of the capital city of Myanmar. It might not look like it, it very much looks like countryside, there's hardly a car. We're going down a four lane highway right now and there's like one motorbike on it. This place isn't really on most backpackers like lists for Myanmar. It's just kind of weird so that's why we're here but I think we've maybe realised that there's a small chance we might get stuck here because there's a Buddhist festival going on uh, so a lot of the buses and trains are like really jam-packed which is probably why we had so many problems yesterday yeah uh, so our first stop of the day is going to be the bus station to try and get a ticket to get us out of here tomorrow because as fun and weird as it is to come and see the place we definitely don't want to spend too long here because there really isn't that much to do <laughs> We made our way from our hotel all the way to the bus station, found our way around the bus station, spoke to lots of people and eventually found someone who would give us a ticket to close to the location where we want to go tomorrow. So we've got that booked, that's sorted. This place is crazy though, it took us so long to drive here and we were just driving down these massive highways with like no cars on them and there was like no buildings by the side, it was just like you were in the countryside or something, but you were in the middle of a capital city, like this place is very, very strange. And we've been like trying to look it up and get a little bit more information on it, but it is quite difficult to actually find out accurate information on the internet, it seems. But just to kind of give you a bit of perspective of this place, it is six times the size of New York City, including all of New York City's suburbs, like Brooklyn and stuff like that which is huge and there's a population of like about a million people so there's not very many people living here for that much space which is why it's like so empty and weird and like some abandoned theme park or something but we're gonna go out and explore it a little bit more after we eat our pizza we really wanted some comfort food so we just came somewhere that had pizza i know that's bad but it's what we wanted So that pizza was needed and I've just got myself an iced coffee as well because the two hours or whatever of sleep we got last night is definitely starting to catch up on me a little bit. But we're going to make the most of the rest of the day. We're going to drive around a bit more just because it's fun to drive around these like empty highways. And then we're going to see if we can find the presidential palace. And I think there are some more sites to see like there's like a pagoda. There's a copy of one in Yangon. So we're going to try and find that as well if we have time. So I think it should be fun. So the area that we just had lunch is actually called Myoma Market. I might pronounce that wrong. And it's like the main commercial hub of the whole city. Online isn't that great, but 
Apparently they built a lot of these roads this wide so that they could land planes here if there was any kind of issue in the city like they needed to get aid in or I know get the army in or something really quick. I don't know if that's true or not but you could definitely land a plane on this road. <laughs> Stopped to take a photo and I was stuck. Why won't it work? We stopped to take a photo, we got told off. Which is kind of fair enough, but it's not exactly a busy road. Wow. That is the presidential palace. I think that is like literally four times the size of Buckingham Palace. That and that's for the Queen. That's mental. Sorry if that view was a bit rubbish. I thought we could get a bit closer than that, but it's all blocked off. So that's as good as view as we're going to get. And I don't think there's literally anything else down this massive 20 lane highway other than that. Just got to put my legs on. Even men can't go in with shorts and uh, Myanmar. So I don't think women are allowed to wear trousers to places like this here. So I've got a little skirt to cover up instead. So for a bit of background on this place, this is actually an exact replica of the Shiwa, I'll put the name here, Pagoda in Yangon. So we're coming to this one first, well, we're going to go to Yangon in like a couple of weeks and see the original one. But it's quite interesting that they just built a complete replica here and apparently it's 30 centimetres shorter but I'm not sure if that's on purpose or not. This place is actually really impressive. You can't get a like sense of scale, it's just massive. And there's golden things everywhere, like carvings all over the wall. And I don't know how exactly it compares to the one in Yangon. I'm looking forward to seeing that one as well. It's so noisy outside that we didn't want to say anything to camera out there, even though it's so impressive because there was just so much chanting going on. It has a really like spiritual vibe to it. Really cool there. So I think this city is definitely a bit odd. Mm. It's not the only planned city in the world, but it just doesn't... has a vibe to it that is just very it's dead. Like you're on this go kart track or something. There's no like little shops if you want to buy like a pint of milk or something. I don't I... even know where the residential district is. I haven't passed any actual houses except like massive mansions. So it's definitely a bit weird, but this pagoda is genuinely really nice. Yeah. Maybe th it is like a replica, but yeah. it's very, very peaceful. Probably more peaceful than the one in Yangon. But yeah, I think our impressions of this place is that it's probably not got that much here really to no. go and see. And even if you do want to go and see multiple things in the day, because this place is huge, it just takes so long to drive between everywhere. Um, and it's really expensive for a country that is kind of pretty cheap. Pretty cheap, really. 
everything is very expensive here. It was £19 for the day for us to rent our motorbike. And that's just, that's the most expensive we've had by far, like twice as much as the next cheapest. Um, but to be honest, if I were giving recommendations for me and Ma, I wouldn't really suggest someone come here on the tourist trail unless you've got quite a lot of time and really want to kind of see some of the bit of more intriguing parts of the country.